In the last video, we looked at how sliders could affect and con control and be constructed in order to manipulate a parabola. Here, we're going to be looking at a similar example, but with linear equations. And I, I think this is a good opportunity as a learner or a teacher to play with the way these functions work. So often you might see a linear equation being presented as y equals mx plus b. And again, I type in m space x to show multiplication. I could type in m, then an asterisk, and an x, but I prefer to type less when possible. If I try to do this on GeoGebra, it's not going to work. Why? Well, because we have variables in here with no definition. So the way you want to approach this is to first define your variables. Keep them lowercase. m is 1, and you can have it be any number. b is equal to 1. Oops, I wrote b minus 1. b is equal to 1. And now once I have these variables, I can enter in my linear equation. So if I type y equals mx plus b, I get a line. And I think what's nice for students is that they can create sliders to change this line. And that might help them understand what these two variables do to your equation. So to do that, they can just click here, right? and here to create two sliders that control the line. The thing is, I, I, and I think what's important is, of course, if you hover over it, it tells you what the slider represents. But you might encourage them or do it yourself. Click these sliders, play around with the intervals, maybe even change the color, right? And I would go here where you show, show the label. So then I would say B, well, that's not a good color, it, what it would show you, what B is equal to, it's equal to this slider up here. Close this. That's a little bit better. And here, this is the M variable. And you want to show the label. Maybe give it another color. And close. So now what's nice is that you could just click and drag to see what it really means to change the slope or the height. Right? Other ideas I've seen is that you can create a line segment from maybe the origin to the line so that as you move it up and down right you could see that the height is actually changing and we'll get into that in other videos where we actually construct a slope and a, and, a, and a height to see that those things change as you move these sliders around but from a very basic perspective the idea is you can create any equation and manipulate it with sliders if you first create the variables right and then use the equation that applies to those variables all right, I hope this helped.